What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. It's J Rod. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to remove all the cosmetic parts or aftermarket parts you installed in your car. The reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to be trading in the car um, and getting a 2021. It's been hard for me to find the same color car. They only make it in EXL, Alex, and Touring. So I've been shopping around looking to see if I find the, the color that I want. And if I don't find the same color, I'm probably just gonna get a, a different color. That would be a surprise. And uh, so today I'm gonna just show you a few tips or ways that I did uh, removing the parts. When I started modding my car, um, I always thought about if I wanted to take it off or replace it back to stock so everything that I, I've done to my car is removable and could go back to stock the first thing that I did was um, I ch changed the springs and in the next case it, it, with my next car the version 2 which I'm gonna try to do the same color car I'm gonna go with coilovers because um, it's more easier to replace if you want to replace them back to the stocks with the springs is a little bit more difficult you have to have the clamps and knocking and stuff so i actually went back to the shop and i paid for they could do the front ones um they charged me 175 and i did the rear ones myself the rear ones were easy so um that's the first thing i did i actually also removed already the front lip and the rear diffuser so i'm going to show you some pictures of the way that it looks now with uh, lifted with original s springs and um, and also be before i remove everything off i'm going to show you all the mods that i did to my car before i before i take off all the parts so that way you can get an idea of what i did to it it's not that much it's mostly just it was the body kit and the lowering but I'm gonna show you all the things, little things that I have in the car and, and I'll put the, the link on the description for all the parts that I bought and where to buy them at. All right, this is uh, my car, the 2019 Honda Core Sport. It's already back to normal height, which you can't really tell much of a difference. Uh, it has a 20 inch rims, the Koenig. Um, I put the, the side uh, fender, emblems on this one you have the body kit the high skirts on the back you could tell a little bit that it went up Did it, um, with a pro kit I have the Ebok pro kit lowering springs it only lowered like about one inch so on here I also have the I vinyl wrap disc but you could also if you want these black I suggest um, just buying the cover and putting it on yourself I blacked out the trim. I got the rain guards on here. I vinyl wrapped the the pillars, the, the all the pillars, the, the door pillars. Um, what else? I did the I did the, uh, the headlight conversion to the touring model lights, which I'm gonna be taking off everything. So I'm gonna do the before and after. This is the before. I put the sports grill on it, I put the JGM style, JGM style emblems. Um, what else? Right here I already took out the front lip. Uh, and I also already took off the rear diffuser. I think on my next car, I'm not gonna put the front lip. I'm just gonna do the, the coilovers and Maybe put side skirts, maybe, yeah, but I'm just gonna drop it. The other one, I'm just gonna drop it, and uh, I'm not probably, probably, if if, uh, if I get the same color, I'll be able to use the same parts. But if I don't, I'm probably not gonna put none, none of that. I got the V3 lights from from a high rev. I got this V-type uh, trunk spoiler. I vinyl wrapped this right here myself. I have the window spoiler. I got the shark fin cap. It's an overlay cap, black. 
Uh, I got the sequential lights. I already took out the rear diffuser and the tips. I had the Akasaka's tips on here. I have this, I have this little trunk, little garnish, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I'll put the link in the description for that. And and over here, I did that uh, vinyl wrap the the gas thing, the gas door. I I put vinyl right here on this. I I did it myself. Uh, and then on the inside, I put all those, I put the little fake carbon fiber things right here, on here, and um, these door kick pads, um, they're not holding up that well on, on the driver's side and the passenger side, they hold it up good, but on the, on the back, they're, they're peeling off, so I think if you're going to go with with some kick pads you, you could go with some oem style ones i've seen them already and they're like sort of like chrome well they're nice i put this little sticker here i had the i put the the shifter extenders i have the broadway uh, mirror up here uh and also i did the center console cover things I also got these little things uh, that go on the seatbelt because my lady my wife was telling me that it's always the seatbelt scratching her neck so I got that and I got the cover for right here so it won't scratch I put the light on there on the dashboard uh, that's about it. I didn't really do nothing on the inside. And I also got the, what do you call it, the floor mats, which I'm loving. I already cleaned them like twice. They like, still look like brand new once you clean them with water and soap. They come out good. They hold the dirt in. I have the link for the description on that one too. They're as dirty, but I haven't had my car for a while, so it's been in the shop. So um, that's about it. So um, on this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the way that I took out the double-sided tape and cleaned up the tape. So here I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with um, removing this right here, removing the emblem, removing the fin, removing the sequential lights, the tail lights. Then I'm gonna go to the rack, the top, the fin, putting back the original tips uh the original reflectors on the bumper taking off this black right here taking off all the black and all this uh the rain guards taking off the vinyl wrap off this i don't know if i'm going to take off the emblems yet i'm probably just going to leave them and probably on the inside i'm going to leave the the carbon fiber stuff i'm just going to leave it in there so maybe i'll if i get the 2.0 i, I won't i'm not going to need that so and yeah that's that's gonna be it uh, this is just a shot of the hot it looks now and then i'm gonna show you a shot with the uh, when it's back to stock um i have the original rims right there the sport rim so i'm gonna put those back on and then the engine on the engine bay i'm gonna take off this uh inlet pipe i'm gonna take off my cover i'm gonna take off the cash can i have the holes right there for it i'm gonna take off the this uh, torque, upper torque arm or torque, whatever it's called. With a battery thing, the battery bracket. Take off all these, this is just the cover that I put on top of it. So it just, it comes off like that. Easy, take that off. I'm gonna try to take off these that I put on it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take them off. The struts, cause um, when I loosen up the screw, the, the thing might fall inside there. The little thing that you have to put into over here the hole so maybe i won't be able to take that off so i might just leave that um and also in the in the trunk i got the the pumps on the trunk too i'm probably just gonna leave that i'm not sure so when you open the trunk it pops open so the trunk is 
has these little things right here. I put that too a long time ago. So everything that I have on it, I've been having it for a while now. Maybe like less than a year. But um, that's it. That's about it. Actually, it looks good just with the side skirts. It makes it look a little bit low. You, you don't really need the diffuser. Well, the diffuser makes it look cool from the back, but the aprons, you don't really need it. And the front lip, you know, it's kind of, it looks good, but you have to be careful with the driveways and all that stuff. It makes the car really low in the front. But if, that's why I'm thinking that if I'm gonna drop it, I won't need the front lip no more. I'm just gonna drop it with some coilovers and um, on my next project. And, and so that's it. All right, for this project I got is Google. And then I also found this one. It says for, for stickers, tape, whatever. And then um, when you want to remove this, you could heat it up a little bit. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, I'm going to use a fish wire. So fish string. So I bought these hooks because I didn't want to buy the, a whole row of string and I wanted to get a thick one. So what I did is uh, I just bought this and I think it's going to be wide enough for to go wherever I want to go. So I'm going to go put it in here and then just go like that, take it out. Uh, so the, the best thing to use is like fish wire or fish string, fishing string. So I just got these hooks because this just cost me a dollar. So I don't want to waste money on buying the whole roll, which I'm not going to need it. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So what I did here on the, for I won't pick myself with a, with a hook, I just put the pliers on it. I'm going to go like around here and then go along with that, take it off. And then over here, same. Just go get it off little by little, up and down, like you're cutting and slicing it. That's that one. Just take your time, you know. I already ripped like two of the fishing strings because I was trying to go too fast. I'm just going slow. Once you got it started like that, it's pretty much off already. You can take it off by hand. So what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna warm it up a little bit. And um, just go like a little bit halfway over here. On this side, I already started on the top. Clean it up so it's good. Yeah, uh, we'll just pull it off. Okay, so I'm just gonna go once you got it like that, you got the both sides off. You can be really careful and just keep it off. You won't break it. I'm gonna reuse it. So it's already almost off. So everything I do is like I'm learning while I go. So sometimes I I might change what I do, but I can't explain what I'm doing. So you have an idea. So I did the two ends first, and then and uh, then I just went to. So I got it off. And then this vinyl that I put here, I just did it because I don't know, I just did it one day. Take this 
so one shot. See how that the, the product works. Clean this up. Actually, when I put the the aftermarket fin, I put silicone on these covers for the water. Hold it up good. No water went in. This window one it was already like half off. It was already coming off on this side. This one I have it like for over a year. This is like probably one of the first things I did. So it's already like coming off right here. So I don't want to bend it or anything. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit. And then with a fish string, I'm going to try to go through it. Let's see if I can do it. I might need more longer. I'm gonna heat it up. I always have it off over here. And I'm gonna use uh, some of these fry pans that I have. I'm just trying to fry it out with really a plastic plate. Just trying to go on the Oh yeah, I'm off. Pretty I guess the fish string that I bought was too thin, so it was ripping a lot. So what I did, I just put the pry tool, and I'm just going underneath here, warming it up a little bit, going underneath and removing the tape. I'm already just kidding the tape. Huh? And this, that's it. That's how I took it off. Putting the pry tool, moving it down. So once I already got all the bottom off, I already got it all loose in the bottom. So I thought the window one was going to be easier because it's on the glass wall. Well, it actually was kind of hard. And this is the one that I have on the longest. It really stuck on there. There it is. So right after I took them off, I'm wrapping them up in some shrink wrap that I borrowed from work. And uh, so that way they don't scratch. I have all my parts shrink wrapped. One of the reasons that I um, might have wrapped this right here was because I had put some chrome pillars on here and I didn't want to take them off. So I just, 
uh, blacked them out. But as you can see, I put these like the first thing that I put when I got the car. So I don't know if I'm gonna attempt to take this off or just leave it like that. I'm probably just gonna leave it like that. So just that, uh, it's easy to take off. This um, these are easy. Just just be really careful with them. Take them off. Still, so still polish it and stuff. There you go. Over here. Take that off. So when I rhino wrap this, um, I actually had to do it in two different pieces because I couldn't do it in one piece. But you couldn't really tell. The black you can't really tell. I did one piece here and then I did another piece over here. So and I overlapped it. And I was just gonna buy the covers, but I didn't want to waste 90 bucks. I think you can get them like bulk home for $90. The pearl black. And that's that. When you um, black out the trim up here, and then you lay this on top of it, the, the guard, you know, it doesn't stick well because it's sticking out actually to the to the vinyl itself. So a good, a good idea to do is vinyl wrap the back part, leave this not vinyl wrapped, not vinyl wrapped, and then just vinyl wrap here and down. Because that way, when you put this on, it doesn't go on top of the vinyl, and, and then it might get loose because the vinyl wrap is it's just sticking onto the vinyl wrap. As you can see right here, the vinyl wrap is on the, the rain guard itself, so. It's better if it's just directly on the metal. And you won't be able to see the chrome only if you look from the top. So you can just black out this and a little piece over here at the end and that's it. But if you already have it blacked out and then you go with the rain guard for it, obviously you're gonna have to put it on top or if you wanna just take it off. That way these are stuck more, more firm because you know, this it doesn't stick well when it's sticking on top of the vinyl. That's a good little tip that I learned. That's my dad right there, photo bombing right there. Before I start uh, removing and cleaning up off all the tape, I'm gonna take off the lights, and the bumper lights, put on the tips, and go from there. If you guys need any help on taking off bumpers or anything like that, videos on my channel so check them out on um, everything that I've done to this car is on my channel so here I have my original lights nice and packed up and I got my original reflectors I'm done with removing the lights, putting the rear diffuser, the, the muffler tips, the reflectors. Now I'm gonna work on taking off the glue here and replacing it with a new original um, spoiler. And I'm also gonna take off this plastic bit too. It's not like 
I use this one. I'm trying this one. Uh, it smells like uh, lemon. And then that's true. Looks like it's working. We got a nice and clean already. I think this one works better. Like when you have a, this one was good for the for the glue from the vinyl wrap. It took it off pretty fast and good. So it's already ready to go. Nice and clean go. Um, it's already finished the back. I'm put the fan too. So I'm gonna move on to the front now. Everything's done already. Back here. So this is the way the car looks with the stock height, with the 20 inch rims, uh, 245, 35s, 20s. good yeah it still looks good i put everything out on the back already put the fin took off the window on put the tail lights this is the bumper tips the only thing i have to do left next is uh is um the headlights i'm almost done and the front grill So on the side pillars, the chrome ones, I'm just gonna leave them on like that. I'm gonna try to take them off because it's gonna be a bitch, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I took off my cat can. I had it on like for six months. This is the first time I ever checked it. And this is how much oil came out of it that it has. This is six months around there, I think. Six months. Had a little bit of oil. <laughs> I guess it is working. So I'm already done over here. I'm also took out the cast can. I put back the outlet. I'm just gonna take off these little posts right here, change the battery bracket, and then I still need the headlights in the front grill. And then I'm, I am gonna take off these uh, these uh, struts. Like that. So I was able to take out everything. I took out the struts, the hood struts, the torque mount the cat scan put the original take off the bracket from the battery the inlet holes the only thing i was not able to do was the lights and the grill but i'm gonna do that another day but thanks for watching that's gonna be the end of the video for today um and uh if i get another car i'll let you guys know or I'm not sure yet if uh, if everything's gonna go like I'm planning it, but I already took everything out except the side skirts too. That's gonna be easy though. But everything's done. Um, took off everything that I had on it. And uh, that's about it. The emblem back. Thanks for watching and subscribe, like and share.